so this is a new lecture which again will reinforce the idea that parameters are passed as copies and they are passed as value as not as a reference so let's see what it means so we will make a very small function okay swap so swap as you know you have two values x and y let's say x was 10 y was 20 so after swap x should become 20 y should become 10 okay this is the swapping of values and this is the simple work that we want okay so the code is very simple the logic we make a temporary variable temp okay temp is equal to x in temp we store the value of x that is 10 then y becomes equal to x so 10 is stored in y okay so this is done x becomes now so x is equal to y so what happens okay so temp is equal to x is done x is equal to y so x is equal to 20 now y becomes what temp so y gets 10 so the values are swapped so x is 20 y is 10 now so this is a simple logic now what we want is that it should be changed here and we write a function for this okay because we are learning function so we want this so what happens you call this so a is 5 b is 10 we do the output c out main before swap a is the value which should be think it should print 5 b is 10 it should print 5 and 10 then what happens we do swap a comma b so now after this swap in this function again we expect that it is swapped so it should print now a is 10 b is 5 and after the calling of the function when the work is done also it should print a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5 okay so this is what is expected so let's try to see if it is working properly okay so we build this function now let's run this so main before swap a is 5 b is 10 in swap now it is working a is 10 b is 5 but after swap again a is 5 b is 10 so how is this possible okay so this is the problem so we saw that we wanted to swap we called the function in the function swap the values were swapped actually but when we returned back we saw that a was 5 b was still 10 okay so where did it go wrong okay so let's try to analyze this code so what happened so we will see this is the problem of call by okay so it is pass by value okay so it's basically pass by value so what happens here so let's see so we have a variable again we will make some tables okay so we have int a okay so we have a variable a in main we have a variable b let's say it's memory location also we write so it's memory location let's say it's 555 let's say of b it is 650 memory location we have a value so this is variable name okay this is memory location this is value so value is 5 b's value is 10 okay now what happens is that we have a swap function in that we call swap okay a comma b so now what happens as we said so it is passed by value so these are now x and y are local variables in this swap function so it means what so x and y are different variables and 675 let's say is the memory location for x and y is 710 okay so they are now different variables okay they are copies of a and b but they are different variables they are located at different places in the memory but what happens pass by values of copy it is a copy of a so x is value is 5 y's value is 10 okay so this is done so now all the procedure for swapping takes place a new variable temp is also made here 
let's say it is located at 750 memory location now temp is equal to x so its value of 5 is located here now what happens let's see some changes are being made so x is equal to y so x becomes 10 y is equal to temp so it becomes 5 it is changed x and y are swapped but what happens is when we go back so these local variables are all now removed they are out of the scope so these go out of scope so they go out of scope now when you return back you just have a and b a is still 5 b is still 10 because no change was made in the made in the memory location for a and b so this is the simple reason why the swap did not work so in order for the swap to work you need to make the changes in memory location of a and b okay and not in the copies of them. Okay.